Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of an incredible talk show brought to you by the Indian Football Portal. It gives me immense pleasure to have today one of the most successful footballers to come off Jammu. A former India international defender who initially gave up a job with Jammu and Kashmir Bank to play at lower terms for Air India because of his passion for football and determination to make it professional. A journey that also had him play for Mahindra United and East Bengal in addition to the national team. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arun Malhotra. Hello sir, how are you? Yeah, absolutely fine. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me in this platform. Thank you. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. So, uh, Ryan will continue with the interview now. Uh, over to you, Ryan. Thank you, Ajis, for the phenomenal introduction. Arun Bhai, as always, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Always a pleasure to connect with you. One of the most humble personalities one will ever find in Indian football. So, Arun Bhai, my first question to you is one could say a bit of a sensitive question. So you started your journey in the 90s when terrorism was at its peak in Jammu and Kashmir. How much of an effect did that have on your career as a footballer? Uh, yeah, well, uh, absolutely right. Because initially when I started in early 90s, militancy was on peak at that particular period. And uh, it was very difficult for us to go on regular practice because, you know, curfew and uh, strikes and a lot of things were there at that time. But yes, uh, I belong to Jammu and uh, uh, the my local area uh, says Pahariya Mohla and uh, the football ground was very close to our home and uh, we used to go uh, for practice and you know passion and love was there at that particular time because when you are a kid and you are, you love football, uh, cricket was on peak at that time but we, we always love to support football because whenever uh, I have seen after playing in national team and clubs in Kolkata, you will find out that after Calcutta, there are huge support in Jammu Kashmir and uh, uh, Jammu, Jammu Kashmir has produced many footballers uh, later on and before that also uh, played for India as well and uh, well, uh, we used to go for practice and initially we were not aware that positioning and other things as well because sometimes we used to play with the Costco ball as well uh, but later on uh, local coaches were there, Mendra Verma was there recently, he was from Jammu but he, uh, he did his NIS from Germany at that particular period and we got a lot of uh, exposures and tactical training as well. Uh, and then slowly, slowly, uh, Sai has appointed one coach from Haryana. And then when when he saw that we we guys are playing normal football in uh, football ground, then he invited us and he made a he made a uh, club there, local club that's called Vijay Club. When I when I started my uh, journey, and uh, then I came to know about positioning football and all that. And uh, uh, he was from Haryana, and I was tall enough and uh, slim as well. So. Uh, he guided me to play as a defender. So I started my journey from there and then uh, I shifted to GNK Bank. At that particular time, GNK Bank chief coach was there, Abdul Majid Kakru. You might have heard his name. He was Indian captain and in 80s, he represented the country for so many years. And uh, I played for JK Bank for a few years. And then uh, JK, JK Bank was the team who played in local as well as national tournaments. And uh, uh, I got exposure under him. And then uh, uh, we were playing national tournaments and then we shifted to Mumbai where, you, uh, where I started my professional career in Air India. That's a, quite a journey, quite a journey. And you're among the few JNK players, JNK based players who has gone on to play for India and you have also played for Air India, Mahindra United, East Bengal and ONGC. What was your experience like at the top level in the I-League as well as for the Indian national team? Yeah, every player's dream to play in these professional clubs where I have played and other clubs as well in Goa and other states also. Uh, yes, I got an opportunity when I, I early, I just said that when whenever JNK Bank used to play in Mumbai and other states and uh, coach Vimal Ghosh was there in Air India and he saw me while playing in Mumbai. He was the best coach in late 90s and uh, at that time I had to take a decision. I left the job and then I joined Air India. And uh, at that particular year, at that particular year, I think Air India was playing I League directly, and uh, I was from Jammu, and there was no academy background. And then straight away, I am representing I League and other uh, major tournaments which India is organizing. But yes, under Bhima Ghosh, I learned a lot of things alongside uh, the top players were there: Godfrey Pereira, Yusuf Ansari, Tony Fernandez, and Radha Krishna Dubey. More players were there, and I learned a lot of things from them. Yes, my journey started from there and then after uh, spending few years in Air India, then I shifted to East Bengal, Kolkata. The scenario was totally different because every player's dream to play in Kolkata, that is Makkah football, we can say. 
uh, under coach Subhash Bhomik, and he was tremendous. And uh, he was uh, I had seen in my career that he keep updating himself every time. And then uh, he was the person who brought uh, you know Australian trainer at that particular time. And the professionalism uh, we can see the change uh, when I shifted from Air India to East Bengal. Uh, the media, the fan followers, and then the derby, there are more than one lakh people comes and then they encourage you. And then uh, it was totally a uh, different scene, I can say. And I, I am fortunate that in East Bengal also, um, I played alongside Venkatesh, Alvita Dikuna, Douglas, Michael Koro, and other foreigners as well as Indian players. So uh, uh, that was again a learning experience. And then shifted to Mumbai also, the Mahindra United made a very good team under coach David Booth. Uh, that was again a different experience we under foreign coach. First, that was my first experience under foreign coach David Booth, and he was so calm and uh, tactically he was very strong. And we won major tournaments in East Bengal. Uh, I forgot to tell you that when I joined East Bengal, uh, uh, we won all the tournaments like Durand Cup, Federation Cup, I League, and other tournament that we had uh, made a record. I think is the first club who won all the tournaments, domestic tournaments, I can say. And then I shifted to Mahindra, and then journey started, and then. Uh, this is what I can. So you've uh, had quite a fantastic journey. You've also played for some top coaches, Bimal Ghosh, Subhash Bhamek, David Booth. Now, uh, you played in the I-League for two years and then immediately after that, you got your call-up for the Indian national team. How exactly the, did that happen? What was your season? What were your two seasons like? And also, what was it like under Mr. Stephen Constantine? Yeah, when, when I joined East Bengal after Aid India, uh, we were doing pre-season training. And I remember the month as well in May, May I think 2001 or two, uh, I got an, uh, I got a uh, name in the camp. Then I was surprised at that time because uh, you just started your career in Air India and then you just joined in East Bengal in three season training and nation, uh, again in the senior national team you got a call in a span of very short time. But yes, challenges was uh, always there because. Uh, I love to take challenges and then under Stephen Constantine again it was very. Uh, very good experience under under him because uh, uh, it was a challenge for him also because he, he just came to India and it was his first tournament that was LG Cup tournament in Vietnam. And uh, he had a mixture of players like young players as well as seniors like Bai Chung Bhuti, I am Vijayan, Jopal and Terry, M. Suresh, Deepak Mandal, Mahesh Goli and many more players were there. And uh, he also chosen young players also. And uh, that was big challenges for us also because it was very first tournament and uh, we have to we have to prove if we, we if we want to sustain in that arena. So in in LG Cup, we all know that we won LG Cup after a gap of 28 years, and then my journey continues. But yes, Stephen Constantine was very professional, and uh, I learned lot of lot of things under him also. And uh, fortunate that uh, I already uh, I already told you I already mentioned that I played alongside Y2Y and other players. And learned a lot of things with them because we used to watch them in TV and other derby matches. But yes, uh, sharing sharing them in uh, hotels and practice sessions and all that that was dream come true and uh, mar marvelous experience for me. And uh, the players you named during your stint with the Indian national team, they were top players. They were legends. They were people who the who the fans are in awe of. So when you broke in as a youngster into that Indian team, what was the reception like? Were, did, were you, did they make you feel, did those star players make you feel welcomed or were you under pressure or how was, how was it? No, they, they were always cooperative because the senior that I, I earlier mentioned that uh, uh, they already guided me because I, I, I already told you that the, the academic background was not there. But yes, little bit here and there was there. But uh, yes, I managed and we worked hard. Uh, I tried to do extra practice uh, after coaches leave and all that. Uh, and then uh, they were very supportive. They keep guiding me inside the field as well as outside the field. What is to be done in the international arena as well as national level and in the practice also. Randy D. Singh, Bai Chung Bai and a lot of other players, they keep guiding me. Because I was the youngest one, I think. And... Uh, I was the person who played pre-Olympic under 30, under 23, and at the same time I was representing senior uh, senior India also at that particular time. So uh, it was it was great experience uh, alongside the senior and legends. Wow, that's great. And uh, you know you have played in Mumbai, you have played for Air India, Mahindra, ONGC, and you have also played in Calcutta. What is the difference in the footballing culture between the two cities? 
Yes, uh, difference difference is there because I initially started in Kolkata and uh, initially started in Mumbai and then shifted to Kolkata. Difference is there because fan followings and other uh, other supporters as compared to Mumbai, they are much much better in Kolkata. In local matches, 10 to 20 thousand people used to come, and I already mentioned that in Derby, more than one lakh people come and. Uh, they keep supporting the players and pressure is always there in Kolkata because every match you have to win and you have to perform well. Uh, but in Mumbai, I have seen that matches are there, competition is there, but uh, whenever you play for, uh, whenever you go and play for the match, hardly uh, uh, hardly 1,000 or 2,000 people used to come and support. But yes, no, it is. I have seen after uh, after ISL and all the supporters are increasing, fan followings are there and the more and more people are coming in Mumbai also and cheering. I have seen many matches in ISL in Mumbai as well as Kolkata. So things are improving and uh, uh, but uh, uh, in both the states, uh, little bit little bit fan, fan followings are, if, if fan followings are there in Mumbai, then I think more and more footballers will come forward and uh, represent the country. We hope so, we hope so. And now, the, my next question is to do with all the young defenders who are watching. So, you played as a defender for India and for some top teams. Now, I'm just going to read a little few lines that have been written by one of your former coaches, Bimal Ghosh. He says that you are a very determined defender who was lesser of a talker and more of a doer. He says that you are wonderful with your hard tackles and you had a great heading ability and also you are intelligent and down to earth. Now, these are probably, a, this is a superb testimonial for, for to get to receive from a coach and also these are qualities that I believe every aspiring defender should be going for. Now, uh, if you had to guide all the young defenders who have ambitions to play for India, what would you say? Uh, I don't know what I did for uh, for uh, this. A uh, lot more to do, but yes, thank you, thank you, Bimal sir, for your compliment. Uh, I always, I always uh, love to follow John Terry, who who you, who played for Chelsea, and then uh, along my senior Deepak Mandal, uh, Mahesh Goli, and this M Suresh. I learned a lot of things from them. But yes, young. Uh, Fitness level is always there. Every, every defender is having fitness and other things also. But yes, as a defender, if you are playing as a stopper back or uh, uh, keen position where you have to save and you, when you have to tackle and all that, you, uh, anticipation, is, anticipation is very, very important, which I feel that the more and more matches you play, the more and more the knowledge you will get and then you can justify your mistakes. So uh, I think because no, nowadays football is very fast and uh, uh, you cannot go and tackle every ball. You cannot win every ball, but sometimes you have to hold and sometimes you have to anticipate that where I can go and sliding tackle will be there, heading will be there. No, it is before before uh, long long passes were there, but no, we are using planks, mine uh, planks, and you know crossing crossing is more important. No, it is so defend uh, defender has has to overall overall active and uh, uh, smart enough. So this is my message to the anticipation. I think anticipation is very, very important if you are playing as a defender because uh, in, in every attack, you cannot uh, you cannot go and tackle. So you have to anticipate. Sometimes you have to hold it. Sometimes you have to tackle it. Sometimes you have to uh, cover it and close marking. A lot of things are there. So more, uh, more and more matches you play, more and more knowledge you will get and you can save your team. Yes, anticipation is definitely a key key attribute. Uh, so that's a you have had a tremendous career now. Are there any particular people uh, who any people in particular who have had a big influence in your career? It could be your friends, your family members, your coaches, your teammates, maybe your opponents. Anyone? When I started my journey, there are a lot of people who keep guiding me until now. I am in touch with with those people when, uh, in JNK and in professional arena and then in. ONGC and other aspects also. So it's very difficult for me to mention uh, one name, but yes, uh, one uh, Vipan Gupta was there. He was JNK general manager and he used to guide me. He was in Mumbai when I joined Air India. He keep guiding me. He was former footballer and then nowadays Rao Famas is there. He he is in Kashmir and he keep guiding me what to do and uh, uh, he support me also. But I am in touch with Subhash Bhumi, Vimal Go, Shabir Ali. I forgot to mention Shabir Ali's name because. Uh, I played under him also. They, uh, they were legends, Nehmuddin sir, they are Dronacharya Vadi. And then I, uh, I told you that it's very difficult for me to mention a single name. But yes, uh, I, I am in touch with these people and they keep guiding me and uh, inspired me till now. 
Wow. Yeah, it's in, it's important. That's very important. And now my next question is something that I'm sure everyone would like to hear from you because you have been there and done that. You have played for the country. In your view, why do you think India has not qualified for the World Cup in so many years? We we all know that in uh, three to four decades we used to beat Asian countries like Korea, Japan, and all that. But uh, uh, honestly speaking, they had a vision at that. But they, they had a vision. They analyze it. They they work on grassroots football, and then they played maximum international matches. Their players their players are uh, playing in European clubs, and then when they come to the country, they, in national team, it was not difficult for them to beat Asian countries. but we are thinking about world cup i think in my point of view we should we should uh, play maximum international matches and fight uh, fight and beat the asian countries first and we have to come in first four so that we can qualify as we all know that 46 to 48 countries who represent from asia and then uh, we can think over this world cup and other major tournaments uh yes uh, previously academies were not there like we know that tfa tfa was the only academy and then no it is academies has been established in india and uh, improve, uh, improvement is there day by day government of india is also organizing and um, giving incentives to like khelo india and other uh grassroots programs is in villages as well as in other states but uh, yes it will take time it will take time we are improving we are improving but uh, we have to work work more because uh, coaches education program is also going on it is it is not a one day process it takes time and but yes we are we are going in the right track but it will take time and hopefully uh, we all we all uh, hope that india will play in world cup in near future but but yes we have to beat these asian countries first and then we can move further stepping stones have to be put in place yes and now arun bhai you have it's been quite a while since you have retired i'm sure many people would like to know because you have always been humble in life i'm sure this is this is the platform for you to talk about yourself a little bit since retiring what have you been doing to keep yourself busy and also what are your future plans right now i'm quite busy in ongc and other uh, uh, other work related to sports and all that but yes after retiring i am not uh, waiting for the retirement maybe next few years you will see that i i am planning to open a football academy for the kids may might be free of cost but i always try to share my experience and uh, i request people to contribute whatever you can you can for these kids because if they really need our support and uh, as per the resources we are having and i used to go in jammu whenever i get whenever i get holiday and then i take a week long camp for the kids and where there i share my experience and fellow coaches were there uh, things are improving in jammu kashmir also because government of india is, uh, is having focus in jnk and they are making lot of they are spending lot of money to make infrastructures and to open a professional football academy like residential as well but in near future uh, i am planning to open a football academy and share my experience because uh, in india what i have seen that player uh, the coaches the top clubs and the top coaches they are not making players they, they really uh, they, they really want uh, uh the professional players but we we need to play uh, we need to make players there are very less coaches who try to make players and then make them big so this is my dream to uh, work on grassroots and uh, uh, give my give my time to them well so you are looking for the future and i really really hope that the similar to you there are players who come out for the national team from your academy uh, um bhai there's one quality that you have which is not known to many people and i keep joking about it that you're humble to an extent that you make your india appearances sound like you've just gone to play at the park in the in the afternoon so now how how what have you done or rather what is your mindset like that you are that you don't let your success get to your head and you always try and you know i mean not try you're actually a down to earth person I don't know I don't know but uh, yes whenever honestly speaking whenever we play derby because that is uh, always memorable uh, moment for me derby is very very important for every player and then uh, whenever I I won we, you know whenever you play derby you might be losing at that particular time we have won many matches for east bengal and we have lost against mohun bagan as well but whenever I won uh, I I remain same and whenever I lost the match I remain, but yes I analyze 
I analyze the things that they have where we have done the mistakes and all that. Next time I will rectify the mistakes. And the other thing I have learned that uh, once you enter the white line inside the field, uh, you give you 100%. So that once you come out, you should not depend that I could do this and all that. So whatever you are having, you give give you 100% inside the field and so that you can repent later on. So you should remain calm and cool because the time will tell where you have to perform, you give you 100%. Otherwise, there, there is no need to repent uh, uh, after, uh, we, we, we say that uh, uh, there is no need to cry after split milk. So this is what I can say. That's a true growth mindset and this should be a learning, this should be a, a food for thought for all the young, budding, asp aspiring footballers. Now, remember, for the last segment, I'm going to ask you questions which have a one word answer. So, and when I say one word, it's going to be like you, it could be something like your favorite player, teammate, but only one. So it could be a bit challenging. Okay. okay. So let's begin. Uh, from the numerous clubs you have played for, which has been your, the favorite club you have played for, where you have enjoyed the most? East Bengal. East Bengal. And which has been your toughest opponent? Which club? Uh, Alve Dempo. Dempo. Dempo which has been, is. okay. And uh, who has been your favorite teammate in your entire career? S. Venkatesh. He is assistant coach right now in Indian national team. Okay, and your toughest opponent as a player, individual player? Uh, Jose, Jose Barreto, he was in Mohan Bagan and we played a lot of matches against him in Derby. Okay. He was a complete player as a foreigner, I can say. Okay, and the one best coach you have worked for? Subhaj Bhomik. Subhaj Bhomik. And uh, your favourite foreign club? Arsenal, because we have seen a lot of matches of Arsenal in UK when we used to go for Indian national team. Okay, and your favourite hobby apart from football? Spending time with my family. Wow, amazing. So, Arun Bhai, that was quite an insightful interview. It is an honour because this is part of our aim of getting as many former India internationals to interact and then that could be an inspiration to so many others. We have had the likes of Bhaijum Bhutia, Gauramangi Singh, Subhash Bhaumik who has been an ex-India international player and we have got you and we hope that we can st we can get more and more former India players, current India players in into the limelight with our small activity, with our small initiative. And from my side, thank you so much for agreeing to give an interview to us. And we hope that we can have one more, hopefully live after the pandemic finishes. Sure, sure. Thank you. And the interview will be ended by Achis with his thank you note. Thank you so much, Arun sir, for uh, giving us a chance to interview you. Uh, not just the defenders, but... Uh, People in general will get an insight of how the footballing world works uh, by, from the scope of a player, a player who has been there and done that. So thank you very much. And I'm sure many footballers will take inspiration on how to be a model footballer. They must have definitely learned a lot from your part in this interview. Thank you so much.